complicated Stasi electrons in light. Ernest Rutherford conducted his experiment with the gold foil, and he presented his nuclear atomic model with the nucleus in the middle. And people again started to ask themselves, how are the electrons arranged around the nucleus? And why don't the negatively charged electrons get pulled into the nucleus? And then how does the electron cloud represent a difference in chemical behavior? So Niels Bohr studied some of these questions and here are his findings. Electrons are located in energy levels, which he called N. So you have N1 as the first energy level, N2, N3, and so on. Energy levels are defined by a certain amount of energy. So we go from low energy to high energy, N1, N2, N3, N4, N5. So N1 is the closest to the proton, to the nucleus, then N2. You see electrons going around, and each electron is moving in an orbit. So if you can move it up, that's good, right? Okay, electron configuration. It's an arrangement surrounding the nucleus. It shows the location of the electron in the lowest energy possible, which is called your ground state. So ground state is the very basic energy state that you find an electron in. An electron usually wants to be in the ground state. They can absorb extra energy, and they basically jump to a higher level. They jump to a higher level or uh, to a excited state. So here they're excited because they get to go on a field trip, right? Away from the house. They jump higher level. So the further out they go, the more excited they get to be. And then eventually they have to fall back down. So as they fall back down, it has all this extra energy that it got from being excited and it releases or it emits extra energy in the form of light. So it releases or emits. I only have space for one, so it emits extra energy in the form of light. Now this light can have different colors. Yellow, green, orange, blue, purple. And all this we will study together on Thursday in our lab. So we see this light in the form of a bright line spectrum. And that can be used to identify an element, since every element has a characteristically bright line spectrum. All right, so mercury is gonna look kind of like a light violet. Then we'll have neon, it's like an orange yellow. Mm -hmm. All right, 